once again. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Elizabeth, thank you for your speech. I know that you expressed that you were nervous, and I think that you did a great job making eye contact, very little use of notes. You seemed confident when you were speaking. The words that you were expressing, however, showed lack of confidence and showed the total lack of confidence, at least the way I was understanding them, and nervousness. I think that you did spend a lot of time in the first half of your speech telling us about your nervousness and how once you are going to be fitting into the group and getting to know each, everybody in the group that you'll feel more confident. So I personally think that when you were planning your speech, I, my guess, I mean, is perhaps you just got so overwhelmed with the thought process of nervousness because you didn't know us and you haven't given a speech to us that it created a mental block for your brain just to flow and share with us about yourself. I would have liked to learn more about you. I did find it interesting the little bit that I did learn that uh, you went from an all women household to an all male household and living with women, I, I know that can get a little crazy too, but you know, women tend to care about each other and so forth, and then when you're with all men, you know, you mentioned that you were a referee, and I thought that was fun and entertaining learning that about you. And I think it's great that you're an entrepreneur, and so not only do you do bookkeeping, you look into other businesses, and you said that you get bored easily, so you get that business off and running, and then you sell it and go on to another one. That's great, that's a great way to make money and keep your interest flowing. It's nice to learn about you. And the speech as far as having a definite opening, body, and conclusion, I think somewhat. Again, I feel that too much time was spent on your fear and not enough time on delivery of learning more about you. I think what you could do differently the next time is look at your topic more and do something, I don't know what, uh, self-meditation of, of not being so fearful so you can deliver because I do think that you have great speaking abilities. You didn't, your body language didn't appear nervous the way that you stood and delivered and made eye contact, not a lot of use of notes. I like the 80-20 rule that you used about clients. I think that's great for all of us to be able to use that rule. And I want to thank you for your speech. I want to thank you for being confident enough to get up here and deliver. Thank you.